What's up, Faith Fox? Great to be back with you guys today. Happy Tuesday to you, wherever you're watching from, wherever you're joining us. Thanks for taking part of your day to spend it with the Faith Fox community. Uh, we have a devotion today from the book of Amos, uh, chapter 3, verse 3. And the scripture says this, Can two people walk together without agreeing on the direction? And then uh, the devotion goes on and says, Have you ever had a relationship end because you or the other person seem to be moving in different directions? It may seem obvious, but one of the most essential components of all relationships, romantic or not, is agreeing on the direction of the relationship. The truth is, we've all had to reckon with relationships moving in different directions. Some of us have, have experienced it in friendships, while others have painfully faced this with a former spouse. Regardless of the context, what often makes these experiences difficult is that the direction changed while one or both parties weren't aware that it had changed. In other words, you thought the relationship was moving in one direction only to find out that it wasn't. This is why expectations and communication are so important for maintaining deep companionship. Unspoken expectations and lack of communication can weaken the strongest bonds of companionship. And then there's a reflection question at the bottom. It says, am I holding on to any, un, uh, excuse me, am I holding on to any unspoken expectations in any of my relationships? Now, this is key. This is huge because yes, uh, like you, I have also experienced relationships that have gone in differing directions only uh, to realize like after they've been going in different directions for a long period of time, like, oh, wait, I thought we were moving in the same way. You know, as Amos said, can two people walk together without agreeing on the direction? I thought we were walking in the same direction. And whether it was my fault or someone else's fault, we ended up actually walking in opposing or differing directions. And uh, it was kind of a shock or it's, it, it's, you know, beyond being a shock, it can be hurtful, it can be painful, whether that was with a loved one or a spouse or a partner who's, you know, no longer a part of the equation or part of the picture. Um, it, it, it hurts and it sucks and, and it's difficult. And, and so this is why, you know, having communication, having clear expectations is so, so important. And so that reflection question at the bottom, am I holding on to any unspoken expectations in any of my relationships is so pivotal and it's so significant. You know, just the other day, I'm standing actually here recording this in my bedroom. And just the other day, I was standing here in this room uh, and I was thinking about a friendship that recently ended just several months ago. And I was thinking, you know, like maybe I held, maybe I had a different expectation. Maybe I held it to too high of an expectation and didn't communicate that properly or didn't convey that with sincerity. Um, and there were some things that happened, you know, uh, that, that went wrong. Um, but I, I was reflecting on these you know, unspoken expectations. Maybe I just expected something and because my expectations weren't met, um, it became easy to see, oh, we're actually going in different directions. And so are you holding any of your relationships, your friends, your loved ones to um, expectations that you've not communicated or conveyed to them? You know, be sure to, to think through that, you know, uh, reflect on that. Uh, and then if there are unspoken expectations, what do you need to do to make sure that you communicate that so that you and that person can walk in agreement with one another? It's not always easy, but that's so important. If you want to experience healthy and godly companionship, it's necessary, not just in marriage, not just in like a romantic relationship, but in all relationships that the two people or the, you know, you and that other person are walking in agreement together. I hope this helps you today. I hope it encourages you. If it does, uh, feel free to share this video with someone you know, post it on your social media, whatever. Uh, let people, you know, share good news, share something that makes a difference in the lives of others. We'll see you guys back here tomorrow on Everyday Faith.